10 parts of a 10 stroke zero to one part of two stroke zero, one part of zero stroke one one, and about a half part of zero stroke six six. And if I want to deepen it up a little bit, I can throw in one half to one part of zero stroke eight eight. What? Uh, that's too much. How do I even know what level I'm at when I start talking about all these parts and I start having to mix a level 10 and a level two, a level six and an eight and this many parts of this, it can get a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna teach you a trick. Well, it's not really a trick, it's just math. I'm gonna teach you color math. So let's get started. Let's say that I have a formula that I mix one part of a level 10, one part of a level six, and one part of a level three. How do I find out my end level? So I add all these up together. That's 19. I have one, two, three parts. So I divide three into 19. So this would go in six times. If I need to add a decimal, I can. Three times six is 18. And then three goes into 10, three. So we're about at a 6.3. So that's a six, almost a six and a half, but not quite. So you can consider it, you know, a closer to a six. So what about when I have parts? And when you talk about parts, equal measurements in the division of a whole. So this is four parts. This has eight parts. But it's just important to understand that a part, the parts are always an equal measurement. So let's say that I have two parts of 10 stroke zero to one part six stroke three. So the way you figure that out is you have two tens, one six. That is 26. There's still three parts. So 26 divided by three, that's eight. Eight point six. So about an eight and a half, a little bit closer to a nine, but still about an eight and a half, you'd consider it a lighter eight and a half. So let's look at my favorite formula that I said for gray earlier, that's 10 parts of a 10 stroke zero to one part of a two stroke zero. And then I've got a half of a part of zero stroke six six, one part of zero stroke one one. And then if I wanna add in some eight eight or something to change it up, I can. This is a really cool um, base for a gray formula. When I start with my 10, my two, and my stroke one, one. And then I use the other special mixes to add different tones to it. I can really create interesting type of gray shades. And I can increase or decrease my, the level of my two stroke zero to change the depth up a little bit. But if you have a formula like this, you have to see that your special mixes do not have a level. That's the only part of the formula that we're gonna use whenever we average it out to find the, the depth. So we have 10 tens, which I'm not gonna write 10 out 10 times. That's 100 and one two. So we have 102. 102 divided by 11 parts. So that goes in nine times. That would be 99. You'd have three left. Bring your decimal, 11 into 30, that's two. And I don't solve it any farther than that. One decimal point is plenty. So that's about a 9.2. So we say just, just a little bit lighter than a nine, but pretty, pretty much a nine. Now this is where your special mixes come in. Because when I start looking at cool tones like zero stroke one one which is a gray zero stroke six six which is a violet or zero stroke eight eight which is a blue zero stroke two eight which is a green 
all of the cool tones are actually going to add depth to your color depending on how much you add. So one more formula. This is one of my favorite formulas for creating um, kind of that like latte color. You think about like you get a latte and you scrape that foam off the top and you have that nice neutral brown, that soft, taupey, sandy kind of color. That I'll do one part, 10 stroke zero three, one part, six stroke three five, and one part, eight stroke seven one. So we have 24 divided by three, right? And that's a level eight. So this is completely a level eight. But sometimes, this is how I change this formula. Sometimes if I want it to be a little bit lighter or a little bit softer, I'll do two parts of a level 10. Sometimes I'll change this to use a nine, and do a nine stroke zero three to add depth. If I feel like when I've lifted, it's lifted up really, really golden, because this is what I use as a toner. I would pre-lighten with Blondor or a lightener and then go back and use this as my toner. Then I would change that to a nine stroke zero one, or I could even use a nine stroke one six if I needed it to be even cooler. But this is a really great formula to play with. I have a lot of fun with that formula for toning. All right, thanks a lot. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.